Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yari Allure, and today I am going to show you my process for deep conditioning my hair weekly. This video originally was very long. I had to kind of speed up on a lot of it because it just takes a long time. But as we go through, I'll explain exactly what I do and how I do it. So I begin by sectioning my hair into four parts. Um, you see all the YouTube girlies do this and I never really thought I needed to do it, but it makes managing your hair so much easier. So when I am doing my deep condition, I use aloe vera juice. I'll pour some into a long spray bottle, meaning a long spritz. I have linked the link below for the bottle. Uh, and then I cut it with water. So I'll like pour half aloe vera juice, half water. I like to use the aloe vera juice when I'm deep conditioning, but I'll use just plain water when I'm actually doing my hair. Before I put on my deep conditioner, I will actually put this, what I would call a magic potion hair growth oil on my hair first. It is made up of several key ingredients such as fenugreek powder, amla powder, moringa, ashwagandha, tulsi, grapeseed oil, and sunflower oil. Don't worry, I know I went fast, but I'll list all the ingredients below and I will make a video showing you exactly how I do this. Next, I use for deep conditioning, I use my Miel deep conditioner. I love this Miel. It smells amazing. I just absolutely have to take a whiff of it every single time I open it. I run out of it because for some reason I get the small bottle and I just <laughs> use so much on my thick hair. And thick hair, I didn't always have thick hair, but my hair is absolutely growing. You guys, consistency is the key to making your hair grow. Be consistent. So I will go ahead and uh, split my hair even more to put it into a manageable piece. I'll spritz it with the aloe vera juice. And then make sure that I moisturize all of my strands. I'll go in with the hair growth oil and I will massage the scalp a little bit. Make sure I cover the ends and everything. And this really helps detangle my hair. Then I'll go in with the deep conditioner. I'll, I'm using my fingers, guys. As you can see, for this, I'm using my fingers. I will make sure that my hair isn't tangled, detangle my hair and kind of just go in and continue to massage through, make sure that I'm covering all the strands and then I'll twist it up. And I will just repeat this process throughout my entire head until I'm fully deep conditioned all over um, with the, the oil and the aloe vera juice before I move on to the next step. Now, I do want to say, I have found this process through deep conditioning weekly. This is what I do every week to my hair. I do this every Tuesday. I found this process. Before finding this process, I used to use the oil, yes, but then I would put the hat on, the thermal cap. You'll see that in a moment. I'll put the thermal cap on with the oil, and then I'd rinse the oil out, and then I put the then I'd wash my hair, condition my hair, and then I'd deep condition. And then I put the thermal cap on before. No wonder it took me all day. I mean, this process right here is still tedious enough. But just the power of consistency, probably about the, the third or fourth week that I had done this, I was like, well, let me see if I can combine my hot oil treatment with my deep conditioner so i ended up putting the oil on my hair and then putting the deep conditioner on and oh my god a light bulb just went off my hair was so much smoother so much easier to detangle so much slicker and i was like voila voila i do not like washing my hair with shampoo weekly it dries my hair out so i've decided to just co-wash which for me this is the deep conditioning treatment and rinsing it out this is what i do weekly i wash my hair once a month and this is just what i have found to work for me my hair can get really really dry it's very low porosity so 
I need to retain my moisture, right? And the best way that I have found to do that is to wash my hair once a month, but to continue deep conditioning, deep conditioning it weekly. Everybody's going to have a different hair regimen. What you do is you watch different people and you kind of put a little bit of what this person does, a little bit of what that person does, and just kind of figure out what works best for you. But I promise you, you will not find out what works best for you unless you remain consistent. There's no way that I could have figured out that I actually like doing the oil and the conditioner together if I just wasn't consistent. I mean, it was maybe by the third or fourth week, I'm ready to do a shortcut and it actually being it actually worked out much better for me. So this is my process. And I, like I said, I just continue doing this until my whole head is saturated. And then I will move on to the next part. Okay, so now that my whole head is moisturized with conditioner and oil and aloe vera juice, I will kind of put it all up and I will put on a disposable plastic cap. After that, I'll put on this plastic cap that actually came with the thermal hat that I got off of Amazon. It is linked below. And then I will put the setting on high and I will huh, enjoy myself. I will put on a little show, eat a little snack and sit there for about an hour at least until it is done. You can do this for however long you want to do it for. So then after that, I will go ahead and un i massage my scalp a little bit but i'll unravel my twist this is very important one time i tried to rinse it out with the twist still in and i just retangled my hair all up so i use this turby twisty microfiber hair towel i have the link in the description i'll use that and um, i find that it, it helps me to really like keep my hair from dripping everywhere it's already a mess that I have to clean up but we don't want to add anything to it okay so now I'll go in with my clean hair with my Shea Moisture Strength and Restore leave-in conditioner I do use the LOC method which is a leave-in an oil and then a cream right or some type of curl cream or some type of of cream I have a video on my channel showing you how I make this particular oil, which has different things like jojoba, argan, tea tree, and peppermint oil. For my cream, I actually use 100% shea butter. I don't use a curl cream, but the LOC method is just easier to understand. And I basically repeat the process as if I'm doing the deep conditioner. I will section my hair into four parts. And like I said, that just makes it easier to manage. And then I will um, go ahead and spritz my hair with water instead of the aloe vera juice. And then I'll proceed to do the LOC method on my hair. I decided to use water instead of aloe vera juice because I feel like aloe vera holds a sticky substance on my hair so as you can see i'll use the leave-in conditioner first after i wet my hair with the water i'll use the leave-in conditioner and then i'll just use a dot of the oil but i will make sure i do the length of my strands and then my shea butter which is my favorite product is almost gone but i only need a little bit goes a long way you only need a little bit so after that i will go in with my eye detangle hairbrush one of the youtube girlies recommended this for easy detangling and i have found this brush to be a lifesaver i love it right i have linked the description below i bought this on amazon and i just absolutely love using this so i don't detangle with this beforehand i'll use my fingers to detangle when i'm deep conditioning but when i'm actually styling my hair after rinsing everything out you know your hair is a little bit drier so i use that eye detangle brush and it is amazing you can thank me later ladies so i will just repeat the process going in with regular water and then using the leave-in conditioner 
and then I will use oil can't show you really but I'll use oil and then I'll use just a tad bit of the shea butter sometimes in my water I will put hibiscus leaves cloves and a cinnamon stick right you have to be careful when you use the hibiscus leaves hibiscus only lasts maybe a week in your water and it will mold after that so you just have to be careful i haven't done that in a while but i definitely have used that in the hair growth process i have y'all listen i'm a person that does the least or the absolute most i have looked up everything that everybody ever said that grows your hair and i have somehow incorporated what i feel i need into my hair growth regimen right you by no means have to use all the oils i use have to use all the uh, indian herb and powders that i use i have to do anything that i do i'm just showing you um, my process because it was requested and i just there's no gatekeeping on here right we want all the girlies to love their hair even the guys we want to love our hair love our locks like i said my process has made it a lot easier to manage my hair as you can see it's easily detangled with this um with this brush here in addition to the fact that i just really deep conditioned it well so we want to be able to manage our hair on a weekly basis or even a daily or monthly basis without the frustration that comes along with um managing black hair sometimes I got over that frustrating hump and I'm here to get you ladies and gentlemen over the hump as well. It can be done. Now, how I stretch my hair is you can see I'm going down with the, the band that I'm using, right? I'm going down. I'm not just going across. I'm actually going down with it. And I have found that method to be pretty, pretty good. Um, the actual band that I use, I haven't linked that one below because you can just find it at Walmart. But it's not harsh. It's soft. It's very, very soft. And so it doesn't pull on like the roots of your hair. So when you are using a band to hold your hair in place, you want to make sure you get something that's softer. That's going to be gentle with your hair. So I just repeat this whole process over and over it is tedious but it's worth it it requires discipline to just be consistent in doing this every week this works for me right one of my goals the reason i do deep condition my hair every week is when i see girls with hair that's like popping with curls that are super popping and super juicy one of the things that they always say is that they deep condition their hair every week. I do feel like it changed my um, texture by doing this weekly. And I feel like the texture is getting like softer, e easier to manage, much easier to manage. And my curls are popping more just by keeping my hair deep conditioned on a weekly basis. It is a lot. There's no shortcuts i'm not here to say that it's easy i'm not here to say that it's anything but the work that it actually is but now i look forward to my tuesdays when i have to deep condition my hair i put on a good little show that i'm watching and get to work honey and i actually enjoy that time after my hair is fully uh locked and stretched i go in with my rosemary mint scalp and growth hair oil and I just put it on my scalp. I just condition my scalp with the oil. I will, you'll just see here, just simply spreading it on my scalp. That's what I do. It's no secret. It's no big deal. I just go in and I make sure that I'm able to get into the cracks and crevices of my hair and really get my scalp moisturized with this rosemary. It's not something new that I added to my regimen since I've been doing this, but it is the it, it has been the last thing that I've added to the regimen just within the ne the last few months. And I do think that it works well. 
So this rosemary and mint growth oil will be linked in the description below. I did receive it on Amazon. Amazon is like taking all of my money, y'all. Um, and it is everything that's linked is an affiliate link. So I may get a small commission, of course, at no charge to you. But that goes to help supporting my channel so that I can keep making videos for you guys. But yes, this is the last piece. And then I'll put my silk bonnet on and see you guys next week.